Welcome. This is a quick video from the IB Environmental Systems and Societies course, Topic 6, Atmospheric Systems. Today's video will focus on the formation and dynamic equilibrium of stratospheric ozone and how it protects life on Earth. The big idea here is that ozone found in the stratosphere protects living organisms on the surface of the planet from the sun's ultraviolet radiation. In this image here, you can see that ozone found in the stratosphere, in the lower stratosphere, is called stratospheric ozone. And that is beneficial because it absorbs this ultraviolet radiation. Well, you can see that there's very little of the UVC or the UVB penetrating that layer. Stratospheric ozone is good for living organisms and our planet because it filters out this ultraviolet B and ultraviolet C. Stratospheric ozone or ozone found in the stratosphere is different from tropospheric ozone or surface level ozone because that ozone found at the surface of the planet contributes to smog and urban air pollution. So even though the molecule is the same, it's O3 in both places, where it is found, it determines whether it has a positive or negative impact on people and the planet. Ozone is a molecule made of three oxygen atoms. Most of the ozone in the stratosphere um, protects us from harmful ultraviolet radiation from the sun. Right? It's formed because it begins with diatomic oxygen molecules, two atoms, O2, and they are split by hold hard ultraviolet rays into two individual oxygen atoms. Those individual oxygen atoms then combine with other diatomic oxygen molecules to form ozone or O3. Right? This process is called photolysis. So they're photolyzed. Right? O3 is less stable than O2. And so it will, over time, break down or decompose and reform O2 molecules. So two ozones will break down and form three diatomic oxygens. That formation and destruction and reformation happens over and over and over again, trillions of times every day in Earth's stratosphere in a dynamic equilibrium. That means the overall concentration of ozone in the stratosphere remains constant, even though individual diatomic oxygen and ozone molecules are constantly being formed and broken apart and reformed and broken apart again. The rate of ozone formation is equal to the rate of ozone destruction. 